Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Hugo. I'm a cinematographer based in LA. And today I want to make a video about making a light tube. So pretty much I was walking the other day in the Home Depot and I found this selling for only eight bucks. So basically it's a cover for a fluorescent tube. And this cover is eight feet long. So I got this idea to, why not to make a tube myself? Because for instance, Astera uh, eight feet is very expensive. And uh, this long uh, eight feet tube would look really, really cool on camera. So I decided I'm gonna buy this tube. I'm gonna buy this uh, light strip from Amazon, which is about 13 bucks. And I'm gonna buy a white paint. So the idea behind is uh, to put this light strip in the middle of the tube. Uh, I'm gonna tape it with a double-sided tape that comes with it. And once it's done, I'm basically I'm gonna paint it so it's gonna diffuse the whole thing. And let's see what's gonna happen from it. I don't expect this to be bright. I think um, when the light tube isn't shot on camera, it doesn't have to be bright because if it's too bright, it gets overexposed. And right here, from, for this task, I don't really need to be. And this is also an RGB um, light strip, so I can change colors to any one I like. So really excited to challenge and do something about it uh, because if it works, uh, this tube basically costs around 30, 35 dollars which is great. So let's see what happens. So, turned out I cut out a little bit too early. I was supposed to cut out after this piece, and therefore, oh, it, it's me who's stupid. It even has a marking that you have to cut here. So because I've cut it there, those diodes don't work. But it's no biggie, as for the sake of experiment, it should be fine. Okay, it looks like it works. The only thing we need now is to paint it. Let's see how it goes. So let's see what it goes. It, it passed about um, 20, 25 minutes. It feels like the paint is dry. Yeah, it looks like it's dry. So let's plug it in and see how it goes. So it gets a little bit darker. And let's turn on our self-made tube. 
can actually close the ends. Okay. So here's what we got. It's not bad, I want to say. The only thing is the paint isn't even. So I probably have to make a nice layer again. But overall, it doesn't look bad. little spots okay so it's getting dark um, Let's see if it's dry enough. Yeah, it's dry enough. Great. So the second layer looks way better, but let's see how it's gonna look when the light's on. So, let's see. So with this layer, quite honestly, I expected this to be better but it works. Next time, if I would have done this next time, I probably would have made a nicer and more even layers. So it's more evenly distributed. Even though it's pretty much a, a tube for how much? $35. So basically it's a tube for $35. Not bad, yeah? And if you need to do some production design and to make nice long tubes, that's the way to do it, yeah? And it's RGB. I can pretty much control it doing different colors. So this is it. I hope this video was useful. Thank you for your time. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one.